Okay, it's launch checked on countdown net. Pad is clear. 10, 9, 8. Launch auto sequence seven, has started. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go for launch. Separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing lakes have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. Hey everyone, my name is Somir Srivastava and I'm a structures engineer here at SpaceX. I'll be your host for today's Starlink mission set to lift off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral, Florida, on board the Falcon 9 rocket you see there right on your screen. Today's flight marks SpaceX's 39th launch of the year and 230th Falcon 9 mission overall. And for today's mission, we'll be sending 52 of our Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. Currently, the weather is green and the range is ready to support a T0 of 310 a.m. Eastern Time. Expressing for strong back retract. The teams are currently tracking no issues with the vehicle or spacecraft. And in a little bit, we should see the strongback clamp arms opening up and pulling away from the vehicle. In a few seconds, we should see those clamp arms beneath the fairing open up, and then the strongback should begin to retract away from the rocket. Strongback retract has started. The strongback is also called the transport erector, or TE, which is how we break over the vehicle from horizontal to vertical, and how we route electrical connections and propellant to the vehicle before liftoff. You can see those clamp arms opening up slowly. And in a couple seconds, that strongback will begin to recline and pull away from the Falcon 9. And coming up next at T minus three minutes, we should hear that stage one has completed liquid oxygen loading. The Falcon 9 first stage that's flying today is actually a converted side booster that's been reconfigured to fly as a Falcon 9 single stick. This was done with some modifications to the hitch hardware that's normally used to attach the side booster to the Falcon Heavy center core. Being able to convert means that we can add flexibility to the missions complete. we can fly with our current Falcon fleet. And we just heard that call out that stage one is now fully loaded with liquid oxygen. At about T minus two minutes, we should hear a similar call out for the second stage being loaded with, fully loaded with locks. And the first stage that is flying today is flying for its ninth time, having previously supported SES 22 iSpace Hakuto R Mission 1, Hispasat Amazonas Nexus, CRS 27, and four Starlink missions. After liftoff and stage separation, the booster is scheduled to land on our drone ship. Just read the instructions. Stage two, lock flow complete. And there's that call out, which means that Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with 1 million pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen. The Starlink launch is pretty exciting as it's the first of two planned SpaceX, SpaceX launches for today. The team is also targeting our Transporter 8 mission in about 14 hours from now from our West Coast launch pad at Vandenberg here in California.
ground gas closeouts. Coming up next, we should hear that Falcon 9 is in startup, which means that the flight computers have taken over the launch countdown. Falcon 9 is in startup. And there's that call out, which means that the flight computers have taken over and the rocket is on internal power. And in a couple seconds, we should hear confirmation from the launch director. Go for launch. And you just heard the launch director has given the final go to proceed for launch. So now let's sit back and watch as Falcon 9 takes our 52 Starlink satellites into space. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 15 seconds. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition, engines full power, and lift up of Starlink 5 11. Go Falcon, go Starlink. Falcon 9 is pitching downrange. Stage 1 chamber pressure is nominal. At T plus 30 seconds, F9 has successfully lifted off from Slick 40 at the Cape at 3.10 a.m. Eastern Time. Nominal power and telemetry. F9 is currently going through the throttle bucket, which is when we throttle down the nine M1D engines in preparation for max Q. Falcon 9 is supersonic. You just heard that Falcon 9 is supersonic, which means that the vehicle is now traveling faster than the speed of sound. You should be hearing the call for Max Q shortly. Max Q. And there it is. And Max Q is the point at which the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of external stress as it ascends through the Earth's atmosphere. Back, Jill. We're now about one minute away from a series of events, MECO, stage step, SES-1, and fairing separation. MECO, or main engine cutoff, is where all nine of the Merlin engines on the first stage shut down. Stage separation is when the first and second stages separate from one another. SES-1, or second engine start one, is where we light the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. And fairing separation is when the two fairing halves separate and fall away from the second stage. Keep an eye out as these are going to happen pretty quickly back to back. Nico. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Solid callouts there on Miko stage separation and SES-1. Should be coming up on fairing separation in just a couple seconds. Fairing separation confirmed. And there you can see those two fairing halves separating and falling away from the second stage. Both of the fairing halves that flew on today's mission are flight proven, with one half flying for the fourth time and the other its fifth. We'll be attempting to recover both fairing halves using our recovery vessel, Bob. Both stages are on nominal trajectories. Just as a reminder, on the left-hand side of the screen is the Falcon 9 first stage. And on the right is the MVAC engine on our second 
stage carrying our Starlink satellites to their desired orbit. The MVAC engine on your screen right there is attached to the second stage, is continuing its burn, which will last for another couple minutes. And you can read the velocity uh, on the bottom right-hand side of your screen, which is continuing to increase. For those of you who are just joining us, we had an on-time liftoff at 3.10 a.m. Eastern Time from Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral. Today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 39th launch of the year and 230th Falcon 9 mission to date. The 52 satellites on today's mission will join the rest of our Starlink constellation, which is now delivering high-speed, low-latency internet to over 1.5 million people around the globe. Starlink is the world's largest satellite constellation, and today's launch marks our 20th Starlink mission just for 2023. Acquisition of Signal Bermuda. Coming up in a couple of seconds should be the entry burn startup on stage one. The entry burn slows down the first stage so that all of that heat loading and structural loading from stage the atmosphere one, FTS is saved. doesn't go straight stage into one, the vehicle. Startup. There you can see that entry burn has begun where stage one has relit three of its engines, engines one, five, and nine, to slow it down for atmospheric reentry. Stage two FTS is saved. Stage one entry burn shut down. You can see that the entry burn on stage the first stage has now been completed. The first stage that is used to launch our 52 Starlink satellites into space today is flying for the ninth time today. We do have one more burn coming up on the first stage, which is the landing burn, and it should be coming up in about a minute. The center engine, E9 specifically, is the engine that relights for landing burn to slow it down before it touches down on the drone ship. Stage one transonic. Heard that the first stage is transonic, which means it is traveling near the speed of sound. Coming up next, we have the landing burn, which should start in about 15 seconds from now. Stage one landing burn. Can see stage that two, terminal guidance. the stage one landing burn has started in preparation for a touchdown on our drone ship. Just read the instructions. Keep an eye out for the landing legs that are landing scheduled to deploy. deploy just a few moments before landing. Stage one landing confirmed. 
Falcon 9 has now successfully landed, marking the ninth successful landing for this booster. We're now, loss of signal keep. We're now awaiting second engine cutoff, which is right on time. Nominal orbit insertion. And you just heard we had successful SECO-1 and nominal orbital insertion. So with confirmation of successful first stage landing and second engine cutoff, that's going to wrap up our coverage for today. Today's landing marks our 199th overall landing of an orbital class rocket, including Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions, and our 230th Falcon 9 mission to date. Be sure to check out our social media for confirmation of Starlink satellite deployment. And for those of you interested in more launch excitement, F9 is set to lift off again later this afternoon at 2.19 Pacific time from our West Coast launch pad. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.